It's a love story set in North London. It's about two people who feel trapped in their relationships and have an affair. They start an affair, and it's, I suppose, also about the fallout and consequences of that affair for the partners of whom I'm one. Mm. Mm. Everybody's trapped, really, aren't they? Yeah. In the film. The, yes, absolutely. And Chester's, Chester's a... He's an ex-boxer who's struggling to come to terms with the, and adapt to the changes in his life and his relationship um, following, a, following a stroke. And he's mm. a man who's clearly expressed himself almost entirely physically and is now mm, confined mostly to his head, which is a very uncomfortable place for him. Yes. And what you get very much with your character, I think, is the explosion of emotion. Because, because he can't move and can't do things for himself anymore and is so reliant on other people. Yeah, I think that, I, I, you know, I did, a, I, I did a fair amount of research on this and, uh, and, what, and read a fair amount of uh, um, accounts from stroke survivors, and, but, and they're all very different. But one of the unifying things, I think, is a sort of feeling of uh, frustration and anger towards one's own body and a shame associated with dependency. And I think that's really compounded for Chester in that he was mm. so physical. Mm. And you see that you've got all that sort of pent up energy inside you while you're playing the role. And I suppose for, for, if, for anybody to be caught in that situation, for a boxer, it's just about worse because they're, what they do is all about releasing energy exactly. all the time and you can't do that anymore. In your exactly, and, and, um, and uh, uh, an almost total inability to express himself emotionally, I, I think. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, except banging his head against the doorpost. Except banging when his you, head which against the doorpost. Which is a, a scene which we're not, not going to show right now. But It's, uh, not, it's not morning when fair. You, no, but when you did, did that, I was looking closely, hmm, did they cheat that in any way? Or did you really just have to bang your head against the No, they put a... They put a <laughs> They put the thinnest piece of uh, uh, a foam on the door frame for me to headbutt. Was it sufficient? No, it really no, hurt. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. They got it to really hurt. Them. Yeah, I bet it did. I was just thinking, can it stop now? <laughs> yeah, well, because you have yeah. difficulties with that, though, when you do that sort of thing. Because you have to, if you don't get it right... Got to take it again. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, the bruising yeah. starts. You've got to be really committed to it Absolutely. in the first take.